Hello, third grade scientists, and welcome back. We are continuing our work in unit four on weather and climate, and we'll review some vocabulary words for your lessons this week. So let's get going. Today, we will review the, together the academic and content vocabulary for this unit of study. We will study word meanings and look at examples to help you understand the work you will be doing during this week's science lesson. So let's get going. Just a reminder, we will look at both academic and content vocabulary. Remember, the academic words are the words you might find in your questions or focuses for the lessons. They can be found in other subject areas as well. Learning these words will help you across all of your subjects in school. The content words are the words that are specific to understanding your science lessons for this week. Let's look at some new academic vocabulary for the week. These are some of your lesson focuses and objectives you might see this week. How can I observe and describe the direction of moving air? Weather and climate, investigating air pressure and precipitation. Determine how wind forms. You notice I have some words highlighted in red. The word observe, investigating, and determine. These are some great academic vocabulary words and we will dive into their meanings. So let's take a look at the words. We have the word investigate, determine, and observe. Take a moment to think about whether or not you have ever heard these words before. Where have you heard them and what do you think they mean? Great, now let's check your thinking against the word meanings. Investigate, investigate is a verb, it's an action word. It means to look into carefully and closely so as to learn the facts. So when you're investigating, you're really studying something, collecting clues, collecting evidence, and learning more about it. It could be an object, it could be a subject, it could be something you maybe already know a little bit about, but when you investigate it, you find out even more. Another word that means the same thing is examine. Let's look at an example. Look at this example of the magnifying glass. So there are some insects on the ground, right? But using the magnifying glass can help you to look more closely at the insect, gather more facts about it. Maybe what its body parts look like up closely, or maybe what it's doing, what actions it's performing. So investigate means to look more closely so that you can learn more about it. Determine. Determine is also a verb. It means to conclude after studying or watching. So in other words, when you're doing that investigating or studying and watching something, now you're making a conclusion or a decision about it and determining things about it. Another word that means the same thing is to verify. Verify, determine, it all means to get to the truth. For example, when looking at a fossil, Right, so we'll go back to some of our fossil studying. I thought this was a good example. When looking at a fossil, a scientist can determine many things about that animal. It can determine the type of animal it was, the environment that it lived in. So studying and watching and looking closely and investigating this fossil helps a scientist to make determinations. Observe. Observe is also a verb. It means to watch closely. Another word that means the same thing is to watch. Observe simply means to watch, but you're really paying attention. And as you're observing, you're doing that investigating and then determining things about what you're watching. For example, astronomers may use a telescope so that they can see the stars and constellations in the sky better. They're using this tool to observe things in the sky. As they're making these observations, they may be investigating and determining things about what they're watching. Observe means to watch closely. Content vocabulary. 
let's take a look at some of the important content words for this week's lessons. These are some words you will learn about during your science lessons this week. You will come across the word evaporation, experiment, air mass, wind, and condensation. Let's take another moment before we move on. Stop and think about whether or not you've ever heard or read these words somewhere before. Maybe even one of them may sound familiar from last week's vocabulary. What do you think they mean and can you think of any examples of these words? Let's take a look at the word experiment. Experiment is a noun. Experiment is a carefully planned test used to discover something unknown. Let's take a look at an example. Here you see a scientist performing some kind of experiment in the lab. She planned this out and she's performing tests to hopefully get some information that she doesn't know yet. Maybe making comparisons or contrasting results. All of these things are done as part of the process of doing an experiment. Wind. Wind is also a noun. Wind is air as it moves naturally over the surface of the earth. We can't see wind with our eyes, but what we can see is the effect that wind has on the environment. So let's look at an example. Here you can see what the wind is doing to these palm trees. Even though we can't see it and there's no movement actually happening in this picture, you can tell that it's a windy, a strong windy day just from the effect that the wind is having and pushing against the branches and leaves of the palm trees. Evaporation. Evaporation is also a noun. We looked at evaporation in our water cycle experiments. Evaporation is the process of turning a liquid into a gas through heat. Remember when we took our cup of water and put it in a sunny window? The warmth from the sun turned the liquid into a gas so that the level of our liquid continued to go down as the liquid was warmed. This is a common example we see in our homes all the time of evaporation. Watch the next time your mom is cooking something on the stove or boiling a pot of water maybe to make some pasta. You will notice the steam or vapor coming off the pot. This is an example of evaporation. Condensation, we looked at the word condense last week. Condense is the verb or the action of condensation happening, the action of the process. Condensation is the process of changing from a gas to a liquid or solid through cooling. Think about our cloud experiment. When we watched the warm water evaporate and go to the top of the cup where the ice was, as it was cool, cooling at the top of the cup, we could see it start to turn back into a liquid. You could actually see the process. Remember the example of the water droplets on a soda bottle when it's taken out of a cold refrigerator and put in a warmer place. The contents of the cold temperature of the bottle cause the air around the bottle to form liquid water droplets. We call that condensation. You will remember this example. This is an example of condensation. This is the warm air around the soda bottle as it's getting cooled, turning back into a liquid. Air mass. Air mass is also a noun. Air mass is a body of air that covers a wide area and has little horizontal variation in temperature, pressure, or moisture. That can sound a little confusing, but it just means there's not a lot different about that air mass. It could be warm, it could be cool, it could be wet, it could be dry, but that body of air is constant across the area that it's covering. This is one example of an air mass. By looking at this picture, you can tell it's a dry day, it's not a windy day, 
We can't really tell if it's a warm air mass or a cold air mass. It could be cold, it could be warm. But whatever it is, that air mass over this body of land has little horizontal variation. So it's not moving or changing a lot in this one area. The temperature is the same if I walked from here to back there. The pressure is the same and the moisture or dryness is the same. So it's not raining in this one little spot and super dry in this little spot. This is an example of air mass. And once again, these have been some awesome science words. Now that you're familiar with these awesome words, you will be able to use them and understand them during your learning. And remember, use this video as often as you need to as a resource. You're doing amazing work. Third grade scientists, keep up the great work.